Hey everybody, Thomas Allen with InFisherman. I want to show you the brand new StarCraft SDX 2050. This is our 2021-2022 TV boat. We're going to get inside. I want to give you a tour. Let's hop in. Alright, we're going to start in front of the boat. Up on front, I've got a Minn Kota Tarova. Uh, it's the big one. It's a, a 36 volt. Uh, it's got the 72 inch shaft and it's complete with iPilot link. So that connects to my Humminbird Helix 12s here. Um, got option to uh, have the pedal plugged in direct to the boat. I've also got a hand remote to operate the controls so I can run this thing from anywhere. Uh, but what's interesting about this boat is I have the 360. And this real simply goes on the side of the boat like this. Put the screw in just like that. And then you can have 360 reading out while you're running the boat. Very handy. Uh, so that's the electronics on the front of the boat here. Let's talk about storage. All right, so right here we've got a minnow live well. Uh, it's pretty handy, comes with a nice bucket. Works as a trash can, or if you've got bait to keep fresh, that works there. Got some extra storage here. Life jackets, sweatshirts, bumpers, all kinds of stuff. The same on this side. Lots of room for tackle. Another convenient storage port right here. Again, we've got a jam full of tackle. And you'll also notice on either side of this the front of the boat here, we've got rod tubes. So if you're gonna store the rods on the deck, you can slide the rod tips right in there and you're gonna be safe. All right, moving back to the cockpit, we've got a rod locker here. Lots of room, you can put up to eight foot rods in here, very handy. I've had 40 rods in this thing, so it will hold a bunch of them. Nice and easy. Here we got the passenger seat, glove box, all the gear that you might need, extra tackle storage, a couple handles, nice big windshield on a windy, wet day, it's very handy. I spent a lot of time in the cockpit here. I've got my Minn Kota Talon switch right there. That's one of the multiple that I have. If you like music, you can play music with the Bluetooth right there, hook your phone up. We've got all our control switches here, complete with stereo, wash down tube, which I'll show you later, is one of the best features on this boat. Uh, but I've got two Humminbird Helix 10s here, um, and I can connect and run the entire boat from right here because of the iPilot link. Um, so it's very handy. You can check out the 360 with what the front units are, are reading. All right, so moving on from here, let's get back into the rear of the boat. Uh, I've got battery storage here. That's where I'm going to keep the 36 volt trolling motor batteries. Crank battery setup is right here. You'll notice I've got two batteries rigged in parallel. That way I can run all the electronics. This boat does come with four seats just like this. Because we do a lot of fishing in this boat, these seats tend to kind of crowd things up so while we're here fishing we leave them at the garage we've got storage at the side of the boat the gunnels right here put extra baits extra line it's real handy same on this side you can even put some shorter rods in there on the side of this boat you've got these track systems on both sides of the rig rod holders galore we can put up to 12 rod holders in this boat all right so we'll start over here this is where you plug it in to charge your batteries built into the boat onboard charger you can also plug in your trolling motor there if you want to have that in the back here we've got a box where i have the power system a little extra storage and main power switch giant live well and this thing's great so you have this whole live well system and that runs all the way over to this side for an additional bait well if you need it but this is what I was telling you, super cool about this boat. You'll notice there's no carpet down in the cockpit. And that's real handy. Let's say you're catfishing. This last year we went and fished the Tennessee River with Phil King for cats. Lots of bait goo on the bottom. You can hook this up in the back of the boat, spray it down. Talk about super easy cleaning. And that just goes right back here. Very easy, easy to store. Again, strong enough to hold a big angler up there doing a lot of casting in the afternoon. This is a great rig from back to front, but let's show you the power plant in the back. On the back of the boat here, every deep V boat needs a kicker. Here we've got a Yamaha 99. And I'll tell you what, so there's a difference between having a trolling motor on the front that's capable of maintaining lower speeds and having a kicker. These big motors, they tend to get gummed up. It's not good to run them for long periods of time at low RPMs. Having a kicker is gonna be critical for trolling when maybe you have some wind, some big waves, and things like that. Very important. Here's the powerhouse of this thing. It's a Yamaha 250 show. Uh, it's a tremendous motor. It's quiet. I forgot to turn it off a time or two because it's so quiet. Moves this boat real well. This whole rig will do about 60 miles an hour, which is pretty fast for a deep V. Moving over a little further, we have a 12 foot Minn Kota Talon. Very handy for launching the boat or if you want to slow your movement or 
uh, stop in shallow water. Um, that's a very handy tool. Listen, once you have shallow water anchors on your boat, you'll never have one without them. All right, there you have it. That is the 2021-2022 In Fisherman TV boat. It's a StarCraft STX 2050. I'd highly recommend you look into it. It's a great boat. We love it.